and I just got back from a walk on the beach, a walk slash jog on the beach. I'm so excited. My conditioning on the soft sand, walking every day, three miles on the sand, has built up the muscles around my joints and my hips don't hurt. My hips don't hurt, my hips don't lie. And I was able to jog a bit on the sand, so that was really good. Now, I want to make a blackberry chia seed pudding and I wanna have it for breakfast tomorrow, so I thought I'd share with you what I'm up to. You use about, I'd say a cup of almond milk and a quarter cup of chia seeds, but things get blended before, you, we don't blend in the chia seeds if we want it to be like a chia seed pudding, um, and we let it sit overnight. So you will need a blender of sorts. Any blender will do. It doesn't have to be a fancy high-powered blender, although I highly recommend that you do get the Nutribullet because it's amazing. So. You can make your own almond milk. I have recipes up on the channel, or you can buy this organic almond milk. It's not raw and living, but it is organic. Obviously, we prefer the raw living, but if you are in a pinch, use a cup of this. I have to go get the chia seeds. Hold on. When I make white chia seed pudding, I like to use white chia seeds, but for this, I'm okay with using the black ones. We're gonna save a quarter cup on the side. I'm just gonna put in blackberries for color and flavor, maybe four or five, and a pinch of salt. This one is ginger salt, but you could use regular salt. Maybe a little squeeze of lemon for a little brightness. And, um, yes, one tablespoon of honey or agave, that's up to you, so. and then we blend this. We can always add more blackberries if we want. You can use a date as well. And then we're going to blend it, then spin the chia seeds for a second. It's a beautiful purple color. Now we want it to be thick and I usually measure for half a cup it's funny, for half a cup, I usually use about three tablespoons. So I think a quarter cup is gonna be enough. We just mix it around. Then, I like to put in a little bit more because I do like my chia seeds, uh, my chia seed pudding thick. So that's a quarter cup plus two tablespoons. It's a lot. This will serve two. It will stay in the refrigerator for probably three or four days because this is not living almond milk. Living almond milk goes a little quicker than flash pasteurized. I'm very excited about this. Hold on. Okay, so what I would say about this is, first of all, you can taste it. You should always taste it, even, mmm, mmm, insanely good. Um, wow, I like the brightness of the lemon, it's nice. So I'm gonna, this is gonna serve two tomorrow morning, so we will um, stir the lemon in. And you wanna give it a little stir later. Now what I can do is do granola on top tomorrow, a cashew cream, I could add berries up, maybe a, a cashew cream, I have a recipe for that on YouTube, then some berries and then bananas and it can be delicious. I could have put this all in one, it's fine. But the trick really is to, in a little while, give it a stir, give it a shake, so that way it, it mixes. And there you have it. Chia seeds are amazing for protein. They give us so much protein. They give us omega-3 fatty acids which when we're vegan we need for our brains, we need for our nervous system, and we wanna alkalize, so we wanna have a lot of greens and we wanna make sure we have omega-3 fatty acids. So we have antioxidants in here because of the blackberries and this is a win-win, this is a weight loss situation because chia seeds 
expand 10 times their size in liquid, they make us feel fuller longer, they hydrate us, they pull out toxins, and they give us energy. It's like the number one superfood. If Moldavite were the stone I wouldn't live without, chia seeds are the food I wouldn't want to live without. So happy breakfast, and I'll show you tomorrow morning on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, come play on Snapchat. It's just Dara Dubinay, one word in both places. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. I do want to say that you can, if you wanted to drink it right now, you would blend the chia seeds in and you'd have a super smoothie. And of course, we're going to top it with the raspberries tomorrow and maybe bananas. See you tomorrow or later.